Yo, it's your boy Brazy, man. Sitting back, checking in, seeing what's good with this Alexis Wood case. So sit back and chill out. We're going to see what's going on, for sure. Deputies say she was in her red Honda meeting with her child's father when she went missing in Anderson. She was last seen on the 30th at the 7-Eleven on Highway 29 North in Anderson. Her mother, Alberta Grace Simpkins, says on Sunday she knew something was wrong. I tried calling her right then, and um, her cell phone was going straight to voicemail where she had turned it off. Then her car discovered in rural McCormick County on Wednesday, where still nowhere to be found. Yesterday, a couple of our detectives, as well as the forensics personnel that we have, they went down there to McCormick, executed a search warrant on the car. That's an area Grace Simpkins says her daughter would never travel to. She was in the bed. She would never have been in the place where her car was found in. Because she, that's the optimal area to her. Why? My question, my, that's my question, why? On Thursday, her family went to McCormick County to search and pass out flyers. At this point, they say they're just hoping for good news. I'm trying to think positive. I don't want to think the word. Um, I just never thought that I would be experiencing this type of situation. Never. mom's home. However, he says she never made it. We got to Emily Road, went to the red light. She went around me and sped off. TJ says he tried calling her again and again, but she never answered. Nobody knows where she is. Both Kayla and TJ say they just want Alexis back. Thank you. 